200,000 tourists come here to the Bay of Fundy every year. The bay has the highest tides in the world, reaching 16 meters. When the tide is out, people come to walk on the ocean's floor. This is just one reason why the Bay of Fundy is one of the 28 finalists in the new Seven Wonders of Nature campaign. You know, a lot of, for a lot of people, this site or seeing the Bay of Fundy is on their bucket list. It's something they wanted to do their whole lives. And they get here and they have a very, you know, emotional response to, this, to the area. Because there, there is something really quite magical about being down here. The campaign started in 2007. The seven winners won't be announced until next year. They will be selected by the people of the world through a voting system. It is the only Canadian contender up against natural wonders like the Grand Canyon, the Amazon Rainforest, and Mount Kilimanjaro. We're here in Hopewell Rocks in New Brunswick. It's part of the Bay of Fundy. Now 100 billion tons of water flow in and out of the bay twice a day. This is the same forest as 25 million horses. The bay has been compared in biodiversity to the Amazon rainforest. It's marine biodiversity, obviously. But there, there are some international comparisons that you can make like that that really help people go, whoa, that's, that's quite cool, that's quite interesting. There's something new and different there that I didn't appreciate. 50% of money earned goes towards the Global Memory Initiative. This will include a 3D documentary that will help the world remember these seven wonders. Canadian Bernard Weber, the founder of the New Seven Wonders Foundation, says if we want to save anything, we first have to truly appreciate it. For Stu Journalism, I'm Laura Brown at Hopewell Rocks.